Okay, so here it is. Again, I apologize for those of you who are used to the uh, the iPad, but this is the uh, phone because we're in a bit of a pickle because the iPad is being repaired. So point two, yeah? So point one was remember the five point star, okay? Point two, GCC oral success. Remember to go round, around what you are being told to do. If a barrier comes up, you go round. Oh, burgers are really expensive. Oh, I don't know how to say expensive. Do you know how to say that they're, they're, they're cheap? They're very cheap. Okay, you don't know how to say cheap. Say for me, they're not expensive. So if you say young people prefer to do this, oh, I don't know prefer, young people, don't hate to do this. Young people, whatever you're doing, you're going to come up with the opposite way. So let's look at some common barriers. So common barriers are when you want to say something and your brain creates the sentence and yet you cannot do it. So common barriers are be careful what you're saying if you are using the word get, get. Oh, so, you know, sometimes I get home and, oh, hang on, remove get. What are you doing? When I arrive home. Yeah, quand j'arrive. Um, I like to get a burger. Oh, hang on, I like to get, I like to buy. I keep talking about burgers because we were talking about fast food. I like to buy a burger. I like to find a burger instead of some vegetables. Um, so number one obstacle to be careful with in GCC is be careful of your own language when you use get. Number two, be careful with your own phraseology. Be careful that you are not using stuff that in English or your own language makes perfect sense. So for example, oh, um, I gave somebody the other day to translate, they kicked the crap out of him because um, he was doing their head in. And this lady, Brenda, who's fantastic said, I can't do that. And I said, how do you say he was aggressive? They were aggressive, they attacked him because he was annoying. So you can always find a simpler way of what you're trying to say, okay? So let's say, for example, I say, what do you do? What did you do last weekend? And you want to say, oh, I tend to do my ballet class, then I go horse riding, whatever you're trying to tell them, okay? So just divide it up. Normally, I do my ballet class, then I go horse riding, okay? If you don't know a word, you're just gonna go around it, okay? Um, Let's think of some other examples. If you are coming up with phrases that you know are your own like country's phraseology, so for example, oh, you know, it was the straw that broke the camel's back, don't try and be clever. Either know them in French or don't try and translate them, okay? So it was the final thing, c'était la chose finale, c'était la dernière chose, okay? So let's look at some examples of saying the same thing. Say I asked you to talk about um, your I like to go for walk in parks, okay? And you suddenly think, I don't know the word for open spaces, okay? I like where it's green. I like trees. I like to go where I can breathe easily. I don't like to be with buildings. You can't remember the word for buildings. I don't like to be with houses. I don't like to be with shops, factories, whatever you're saying, it's GCC. We just wanna hear you talk, okay? So don't suddenly stop because you can't think of the word that you're saying. Picture it, describe something simple, okay? You went to Paris last week. What was there? Yeah, and I did this with a wonderful student called Anya, and I said, okay, what, what was there? Oh, je suis allé à Paris. Well, what was there? Okay, describe it, okay? Absolutely describe it. Think of what is around it. I ate a baguette, it sounds crazy. There you go. Um, normally, I like to eat a baguette, but, you know, this time, whatever, just go around what you're talking about. Don't stop when you get to the first thing that you can't say, okay? Don't freeze and do this panic face.